From Wall Street to Main Street, this is LA Late. It's a big night for breaking new news for June 26, 2022. As four stimulus checks have landed in every U.S. state, but you need to get them right now because we had a big warning this week from the head of the Federal Reserve warning that a possible financial cliff could be coming. When would that be coming? Step one, one of this video, subscribe. Step two, become a member. Step three, get that incredible newsletter. And if you missed it last night, you're in store for a big surprise. We're going to go over that big surprise for members of this channel coming up later in this video. Four stimulus check is in every U.S. state, and in this recording, we're going to go over those checks. Three things are going to be covered tonight. We're going to go over where the state of this economy is tonight as it continues to unravel and get worse by the minute. Auto sales continue to fall. And then when we go to other industries, also big problems as well. Housing continues to slump as it approaches a big market crash, a storm out to sea, and also gas prices continue to surge out of control. What do you need to know? Unemployment is likely to surge even higher when we approach that financial cliff. And also, inflation may be going even higher than it is right now. Under control, no. Likely to get worse, yes. And recession coming very soon. In tonight's recording, we're going to do three things. We're going to go over where this economy is, where it's heading, and how to get big money to pay for fare for your family. What's at issue? Three stages of this economy, and you need to be prepared for the next stage. And how soon is that next stage? It's less than 90 days away. In less than 90 days away, this U.S. economy will approach something that looks like the pandemic of March 2020. Then, in January, it's a recession. Are you prepared? Well, if you found this channel tonight, you're going to get prepared. In this recording, we're going to learn about why you want to become a member and get all the credible money, upwards of $80,000 for stimulus checks, but in total, over $100,000 of for stimulus checks in every U.S. state for you tonight. Whether you're single, with children, without children, on benefits or not, I got big money for you across this recording. In the next 90 days, gasoline is not going to go lower, nor is inflation. Consumer confidence continues to erode and spending as well. Uh, the breaking news on that tonight as well. It's a big night for the shores of Santa Monica, California. It's America's most watched show in prime time for financial news. And it's evenings. And it starts right now. And good evening, everybody. Hope you're having a beautiful night. It is June 26, 2022, from the shores of Santa Monica, California. We're breaking news on so many fronts tonight. I'm excited you're here. We have a big recording tonight. If you missed it last night, we debuted something brand new for members, and it was exciting. What is it? It's coming back tomorrow as well. In fact, every night that the membership newsletter is delivered, it's there for you, and it's totally free as a member. What is it? It's coming up late in this recording. We're going to go over three things in this recording. First, getting those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state coming up after the commercial break. Then, we're going to go over the importance of understanding where this economy is right now and where it's heading. Because guess what? It's heading very badly in a short period of time. Later in this recording, of course, we'll also go over the exciting news of your benefits going up. We have breaking news about student loan debt forgiveness. And also, the latest details on everything you need to know. A financial cliff is the big concern tonight. Why? A financial cliff is not a recession. A financial cliff sounds exactly what it's like. When Americans thought that the day was going to start good with them, and suddenly they fell off the side of the cliff. That's a uncertainty, a surprise that they did not see coming. It's not a bear market. It's not a recession. It's far worse. When did we first learn about this financial cliff? And what would likely happen for June 26, 2022? It's LA Light and good evening. How you doing? We have a lot to go over with this financial cliff. Where did it come from? It came from testimony on Capitol Hill Senate Banking Committee before between Jay Powell and Liz Warren. Liz Warren, chair of the Banking Committee on the Senate, and Jay Powell, head of the Federal Reserve of the United States. He has a dual mandate. His dual mandate is to provide price stability and then also 
maximum maximum employment. What does that mean? Price stability means keep prices in check, no inflation, and then maximum unemployment. Employment means prevent unemployment. So during the exchanges, Liz Warren asked the following questions of Jay Powell. She said, you have a dual mandate, do you not? Yes, I do. And she said, aren't you, though, pursuing the reduction of inflation a little bit aggressively to the extent that if you get it wrong, you could result in getting people unemployed, giving people loss of labor, loss of jobs in pursuit of reducing just inflation? His reaction, yes. He says, very difficult based upon the world events that's happening right now that we may not get it done right. She said, there's a possibility you could send us over a financial cliff in your pursuit of reducing inflation. And he said, yes, there is a possibility. Now, let's make this very clear. What you're going through right now in this economy is not a financial cliff. What you are at right now is not about to become a financial cliff. And a recession is also not a financial cliff. When would this financial cliff happen? What would involve? And what do you need to know to prepare for it? We do three things in every video, go over where the economy is today, where it's going, and how to prepare for it. First, where are we today? We're currently in a downward spiral of the economy with heightened inflation and a looming recession and not good labor. And that is what I've identified as phase one of this economy. It's a very short period of phase that started basically in February and is going to end in less than 90 days. In less than 90 days, you're going to see a totally different economy and how bad would 90 days from now be. It would mirror day one of the pandemic. This would start in September, and boy, folks, you're going to be shocked. Then in January 2024 would be the recession. Now, here's what you need to know. When we talk about financial cliff, is the financial cliff in phase one right now? No. Is the financial cliff in phase three, the recession? Unlikely, no, because a recession is a slow progression downward over many, many months of decreasing GDP growth the U.S. economy. So no, the financial cliff would likely not be those two years of January 2023 to 2024 in phase three. So how soon could that financial cliff be? Yes, less than 90 days away in September. What would a financial cliff involve for you and this economy? Let's go over the details of what could happen in the next 90 days. Price of goods could go higher. Recessionary winds could pick up. And mortgage rents, mortgage rates would also surge. Not happening, also happening in the next 90 days. Lower consumer confidence. Lower consumer confidence would grow over the next 90 days and lower consumer spending. Also, lower income. Tonight, we're going to do something we did a little bit last night, but we're going to add in a new twist to it. Last night, I went over a series of items that I want you to take notes on on every video. Why? I need you to know where this economy is, where it's going. I need you to be able to report back to your family or to yourself every single day, where is this economy? I can't have you time out and show up three months later and say, what did I miss? You miss we're in a recession. You miss that there's unemployment and there's no unemployment stimulus. The situation is changing by the hour, by the day, so you need to know where the economy is at every moment. Let's go to the subject matters I want you to know, and we're going to go over the updates on them tonight. Inflation, recession, labor, housing, retail, and the stock market. I need you to know what's going on on each of those fronts. And with that, let's start with inflation. Inflation is a monthly read generally provided by the Consumer Price Index number. There's a lot of different benchmarks that gives us inflationary guidance, but the most used one currently by the Federal Reserve and the public is the Consumer Price Index number. It's a monthly number that comes out, and it's one month delayed. We had the month of May released just about two weeks ago, and it was higher. 5.3% Wall Street is looking at 5%. Let's understand the importance of why this channel exists and why you're here. Since the start of this channel in April 2020, I've been correct 100% of the time of projecting, projecting where this economy is going. And the case of inflation, I was really the only person who got this right. Last year, I said that inflation was going to track at 8% in December 2021 and not be temporary. Not be transitory, a fancy word that was being used by the Federal Reserve at the time, when they said it was going to be 3 to 4% and temporary transitory. Guess what? It was 8% in December. And then they start to raise interest rates to bring it down. I say it's not coming down inflation because raising interest rates is not going to work. The status tonight for June 26, 2022 is that the Federal Reserve has yet to get inflation down. 
In fact, it's actually gone higher since the Federal Reserve started raising interest rates. We'll go over that in a second. Next, recession. What is recession? When will recession happen? And what is the history of recession on this channel? Back in February, I was the only American financial broadcaster to report that we're going to recession next year. In fact, I was the only one even mentioning the word recession. Many banking analysts would not even use the R word. Heads of banks like J.P. Morgan Chase, Jamie Dimon, wouldn't use, use the word recession. The first U.S. bank to announce it, well, actually a German bank, was Deutsche Bank in April that said the U.S. economy will be going into two years of recession, just like I said in February, what is a recession? Recession is a prolonged environment where the economy shrinks to consecutive negative quarters of GDP growth. That's the growth of the economy. But what I want you to understand is that recession is one of those words that's sort of amorphic. It's one of those words that Americans think they know what it means, and they really don't. Bad financial times, that's recession in many Americans' minds. It's a little more complicated than that. And that is why I'm concerned that a newer poll released two weeks ago had Americans saying we're currently in recession tonight. Folks, you know what's scary about that notion? Is one, the consumer confidence is gone. And number two, they believe this is as bad as it's going to get. Remember, this ain't the recession. This is just phase two. The recession's going to be the worst of the three stages. That's not till January. You see why this is troubling? That is what's really troubling. How do you reach a recession, and why is a recession likely? We'll be going over more about that later in this video, but it's gasoline will continue to stay high, and gasoline raises the CPI. The CPI is an inflationary benchmark, and that determines what the Federal Reserve does with interest rates. That raises those numbers across the board. I'll explain this later in this video. The third item that's the easiest item for you to understand is unemployment. Unemployment, labor, I need you to know where unemployment is on a daily basis on this channel. Unemployment is gauged generally best on a weekly read and a monthly read. On a monthly basis, we have the number of new job creations, like non-farm payroll, but the more important number that you have watched on this channel in the last two years that's been around has been the Thursday number released every morning before sunrise. That Thursday number tells you where inflation is and what should you know. You should know that before the pandemic, the number was about 200,000, then shot up to 1 million. It stayed at 1 million for over 20 plus weeks, but then after the pandemic, it came down to about 180. That's where it should be tonight. But where is it? Much higher. Three weeks ago, uh, it came in at 200,000. And then I predicted it's going to go to 230. It went to 229. 229,000 new jobless claims that week. That was two weeks ago. The week after that, which was last week, the number came in, and I predicted 230 again, came in at 227. I was right on the money for three consecutive weeks. Now, what I need you to know is that is a bad number. The White House, Janet Yellen, Joe Biden, even the Federal Reserve, Jay Powell, says it's a good number, that labor is really good. A quarter million people newly on unemployment every week for the first time ever, do you think that's good? It's not good. And the situation, it gives us other guidance, not only for the labor reads, not only from the bear market, but also from corporate America. Now, the way you gauge unemployment specific, specifically is you seeing it in the stores. If you go in the stores and you see less employees, then that means there's less labor. If you're on the live chat right now, tell me if you've seen more or less, more or less. Have you seen more or less employees in the big box retailers in the last, last 30 days? Viewers started reporting this 60 days ago when Walmart and Target reported they had too many store employees on the floor and that they had to change what they're doing. That is the type of language you hear before labor changes. Now, here's what you know, need to know. When we're talking about unemployment surging, then there's several stages of them. We're in the earliest stage right now, which is layoffs. Layoffs are first announced on an informal basis, store by store. Then they're announced on a corporate level. That's where we are tonight. Tesla, 10% gone. Coinbase, 18% of their workforce, gone. Netflix, 300 employees last week, gone. Uh, if you're talking about technology, Snap and other companies, uh, companies announcing layoffs as well, gone. The next stage after that for unemployment would be then hiring freezes. Hiring freezes is the worst possibility of all of them. 
basically means if you want a job and you come knocking at their door, they're not going to answer. They're going to have a sign on the door. We're not hiring anyone. We're freezing all employment interviews for two years, one year, three years. That's been announced by Tess and Coinbase. The next stage after that for unemployment would be store closures. For example, a big box retailer announcing 20 of its 30 locations in California, gone. 40 or 50 of its locations in Texas, gone, overnight. Here's what you need to know when we're talking about unemployment. And we're talking about that financial cliff. There is no unemployment stimulus anymore that we saw from the pandemic. FPUC, that weekly benefits that went $600 on top of your existing unemployment benefits, gone. If you're an independent contractor and laid off tomorrow, there's nothing for you. Repeat, nothing. PUA is gone. That was paying to independent contractors during the pandemic. If you're an employee at a W-2, those extra weeks of benefits, PEUC also gone. If you are a store employee, if you're a store business owner, small business owner, and you're looking for that EI deal grant or that EI deal loan or that PPP, if you have problems making rent, gone. You see the narrative? Yes. Unemployment surging out of control. So that's why you need to know those three stages of this economy. Those three factors of this economy you need to know every night on this recording. Inflation, recession, and labor. Now, I also need you to know what's going on with housing, retails, and also the importance of stocks. This is the reason why you want to become a member and get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. We just went over all the stimulus that was so wonderful in 2020 for unemployment. It's all gone. All the stimulus from 2020 for small business owners, all gone. All the stimulus you may have loved in 2020, gone. And that's why you got to get this four stimulus check in every U.S. state. Go right in this video right now and become a member. Then get that credible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. From LA, the number three most watched financial news channel in America that has the big stimulus checks in there. Where do they come from? They came from executive orders. They came from the states. They're in every U.S. state. Over $100,000, and they're in the membership newsletter. Now, here's what you also need to know, is that when the financial cliff approaches, and potentially not you, but other Americans fall off of it, what's going to happen? This is what's going to happen. They're going to show up to work, about to go to work that Monday morning at 9 a.m., and they're told they're laid off. In fact, they're told the store's closed. In fact, they're told 30 stores are closed now. They're going to go think they can go get some beautiful PEUC and FPUC. Doesn't exist. And $200 a week for unemployment assistance is not going to pay the bills. Suddenly, they're going to go look for an eviction moratorium order because they're afraid they're going to get evicted by the landlord. There is none. There is no eviction moratorium. What about homeowners assistance? What about that mortgage forbearance rules of 2020, gone. And God forbid, if this is the thick of winter, they're going to look at that utility bill when it comes in the mail. It's going to be a 300 to 400% because of heating oil, because of gasoline. And they're going to look at it and say, I can't pay this. Guess what? There's no agreement on the books anymore that the utility companies cannot turn off your service for non-payment. Now they can. See how serious this is? is? This is a financial cliff. And Americans don't know it's coming if they're not watching this economy on a regular basis, if they're not watching this channel, if they're not preparing accordingly. Now, there's three other situations I need you to know, and it's basically for you to track where this economy is on other fronts. Because remember, the economy has a lot of different components, and if they're all falling apart, you know we're heading from phase one into phase two. Those other components are... Housing, retail, sales, and stocks. Let's go over the situation on each of them tonight. First, when you look at housing, the housing market is falling apart very quickly, very fast. Why? Because the home builders have not pivoted and, and approached the situation the way they should. The housing market crash of 2020 is certainly underway, but it's going to get worse. Let's look at the situation tonight one element at a time. First, the reason why the housing market is falling apart is because the home builders and the home sellers are too greedy. They bought a house and they started building a house when they thought they could flip it and make an easy profit from 2020 to 2022 or 2020 to 2021 to 2022. Then suddenly in 2022, this year, their material costs went up. Their subcontractors' materials 
uh, subcontractors' labor rates went up, and suddenly they couldn't sell the homes. They had to slash the price of the homes. Housing sales are now down dramatically year to date. There's other permutations about this. And how do you learn about housing on this channel? We have housing data almost every few days. First, we have how many homes are selling. We have housing confidence dramatically down. We have mortgage announcements. And then we have the liquidity announcements. Let's look at the liquidity announcements. These are things that came out just the last few days. They show that, for example, here in Southern California, number of homes going on the market in the last 30 days, down. Number of homes going in escrow, down. Number of homes selling, down. People who have homes that don't have to sell are not selling because they know they're not going to get the price. People who want to buy homes are not buying because the prices are too overflated. And people who want to buy homes and really want to get in the homes can't because of the mortgage rates. Let's go to those mortgage rates. This is Jay Powell's doing. As Jay Powell raises those interest rates, the mortgage rates go up, and they've gone up a lot, from 3% earlier this year to 5.5% now as well. If you can track the mortgage rates in your notes on this channel for the housing market, you will be able to gauge how bad the housing market is going to be. Housing markets perceive the dog of the economy, but it's not the only dog. Let's go to the next one, retail sales. Retail sales is one of those industries where there's a lot of fake narratives. The fake narratives are it's doing really well. It's not doing really well. The retail sales numbers are exemplified by the airlines. They are exemplified by travel and leisure and also by hospitality. And those numbers are very bad tonight as well. What are we looking at? We're looking at the bookings for airlines down 3% week after month after month. That's the first issue. We're looking at the hospitality numbers, restaurants and bars, down dramatically. And this is as predicted because people just do not have the money. And what's going on? Again, it's gasoline problems. The airline's trying to pass their costs over to you for the plane ticket because of fuel costs and going higher. And what is that going to do? It's going to have you not buy, and you're not buying. And as you don't buy, they don't sell. In fact, airlines are now closing certain destinations, no less than five announced this last 24 hours from American, and you're now closing, uh, shutting down nearly dozens of, des of stops in New Jersey per day. Why? Because you're not buying the inflated prices of the airfare. That is why retail sales continues to slump. The last slump is the stock market. This is the best indicator for some people that would go into recession, but it's really not. Let me tell you why. The recession is not a downward drop. A recession is not a complete fall from grace down quickly. What happens in recession is that, in the case of the stock market, you have stock, you have the entire market going from 26% down in a bear market to what? 48% down in a bear market plus a recession. What's at issue is that some Americans have been misguided by analysts. And those analysts were at war with one another on Friday. What are they at war at? They're at war with one another, as specifically those analysts that they keep on trying to call the bottom of the market. We're not at the bottom. We're not even halfway down there yet. And those analysts that keep on calling the bottom are really acting in disingenuously. What are they being called out for? They're basically being called out by other analysts saying, you just want to get a sell or a buy order in from your customer. Remember, analysts only make money when you buy or sell stock. If you hold the stock, you're not making money. And the analysts who say, we are at the bottom and we're coming back up are wrong. And they're trying to get you to buy or sell to get themselves a commission. And they're also trying to get themselves on television. Not a good look and not a good situation. Remember, when you had the stock market crash of 2022, it's going to continue into two more years. Why? Because what's at issue is that to find the complete bottom of this market, you not only have to endure the start of a bear market, which is starting the last two weeks, but you're also going to have to find the complete bottom. That won't come until 2024. Yes, that's why it's so important to become a member of this channel. It's so important to get that incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, to understand where this economy is, where it's going, and how it's heading there. Three things you need to do for your family right now. First, you need to get as much stimulus as possible. Number two, raise your savings. 
raising your savings as much as possible. Number three, removing ARDs. Those are adjustable rate debt instruments in the household. Credit card debt, pay it off. Car loans, pay it off. Switch it to fixed. Mortgages that are flexible, switch them to fix. Get ready because this is what's going to happen. 90 days out from now, Americans will be swept off the side of the hill, potentially, because they, because they thought that potentially this was the great economy of February. It's no longer that economy. September will mirror the first weeks of the pandemic, and then January will be nothing like we've seen in a long time. That's why you have to get a fourth stimulus check in every U.S. state. Meantime, the exciting news from members of this channel, I hope you became a member. If you haven't, go right on this video right now, is that last night debuted a new feature for members. In the membership newsletter are those incredible checks that we're going over in just a second. Four stimulus checks in every U.S. state, over $100,000 a person in the membership newsletter. But if you're a member, you get another new feature in the membership newsletter as well. Did you see it debut last night? Here it is. First time live on camera. It is the LA Worksheets. The LA Worksheets are a series of worksheets created by me for you that helps you take notes on what's going on on this economy. Moreover, it helps you provide guidance and organization on getting stimulus. Page one of the worksheets is the economy. It goes over inflation, labor, and Federal Reserve. Worksheets are basically a note-gathering instrument for you to take notes on where this economy is and also take notes on where your stimulus is as well. Take notes on where inflation, recession, labor, and the Federal Reserve is on a daily video. As the Federal Reserve tonight, Jay Powell is likely to raise interest rates three quarters in that July meeting, FOMC, then they're off in August, then three quarters thereafter, then another three quarters, half, half, and quarter. Page two of the Allied Worksheet is perhaps the most loved one so far. Give me your comments as well if you like it on social media. The Allied Worksheet page two is fourth stimulus. In the second page, I've created a table for you that has the check type A, B, C, and similar. Has you put in what date you applied, the date you were paid, the periods of payment, and the amount and notes and contacts. Why is this so important? It's important to keep track of when you applied for a particular check C, for example. In the second half of this video, we're going to go over, there's a lot of checks for you to get. And in the case of every U.S. state, there's not one check, there's lots of checks. For many of you, it may be too hard to keep track of it in your mind, and now you can write it down. Moreover, the notes and contacts column is very important at the far end. Why? You're going to be going back to the same people later this year. As the cold weather picks up, you're going to go back to them, and they'll have already established a relationship with you now. In the summer, that's why you're going to keep track of their name, their number, their extension, and a little bit about them so you are prepared to go accordingly. This stimulus is your benefits raise. Your benefits are going up if you're on SSI, SSDI, veterans' benefits are more. And later this recording, we'll go over this more in detail. There's a table for calculating. Put in your current monthly payment, then look at the possible raise benefits. We're going to look at what the Social Security Administration is saying. Maybe 8%. That means you would times it by 1.08%. And then a possible future monthly payment. So we'll go over that also later in this recording. You see how people are loving the LA worksheets because you're learning how this economy works, where it's going. You're getting money for your family, and you're really getting good control of your financial future. Let's go over the next final pages. Six stimulus, gas prices, international price of rent crude. We're going to be going over gasoline tonight and whether there's a deal with the White House or not and what it means for you in gasoline. Remember, gasoline drives you into recession. And finally, the last page is seven stimulus, student loan debt forgiveness. Let's do that page right now. If you have the membership newsletter and worksheets in front of you right now, take notes. The status tonight is the following. The president is reportedly set to forgive $10,000 of student loan debt. I was the first really to report this no less than three months ago. $10,000 for individuals who make $150,000 or less annual income. The announcement is suspected to be made before the August recess. I expect the president to make the announcement with the Democrats around the table for the signage of the law. The president already forgave student loan debt for individuals who became, one, disabled after graduation, or went to work in the nonprofit or the public sector after graduation, or debts that were prepared by fraud by the university against the student. This would be the final element of seven stimulus student loan debt forgiveness with $10,000 for individuals who make $150,000 
in that respective year. Now, I know you're, I'm going to ask the question, which year? I know it doesn't make a lot of sense. We'll learn a little bit more about it when it's announced, but the announcement is coming in the next two months. I believe it will come in early August before the August recess. And with that, you're ready for, for some four stimulus checks. We're going to go get them. In the second half of this video, we're going to get those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state. Pull out your worksheet if you're a member. Get ready with your pen and paper. Get ready to take notes. We got a lot to go over in the big second half. A four stimulus check in every U.S. state. But you know what you need to do if you've just found this channel tonight. You go right on this video, right this second, and subscribe. Then you become a member of this channel because you need to get this money right away. Go into this video and subscribe. Then become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Get the incredible newsletter Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Delivered via the YouTube alerts. And in that newsletter is the LA worksheets you just saw. In addition to that information about those four stimulus checks in every U.S. state, over $100,000 per person. We got a lot to go over in the big second half. I'll be back with you in 60 seconds. But first, here's a little bit about the members' community page as Evening Delight continues. For June 26, 2022, it's a great night and it's a little bit warm here in Southern California, but it's going to cool down the second half when we get those great checks. If you want money right now, not five days from now, and not five weeks from now, then reach out to the community page. The volunteers can help you find that money for rent and utilities. That's at news.la.com forward slash community. The community page features a series of volunteers who are viewers like you. They can help you find rent, utilities, SNAP, food benefits, mortgage assistance, and help you with eviction moratorium questions as well. Their Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram individuals reach out to them and indicate the city and state you're from, and they'll get back to you shortly. That's a community page. Volunteers working for you, viewers helping one another. Stay with LA for more. Join LA Late Daily for the excitement of the new LA Late Live Daily. The excitement starts on mornings LA Late at 9 a.m. LLA returns at 11 a.m. daily. And then afternoons LLA at 1 p.m. Join us daily as the excitement continues live from Santa Monica on LLA. And the excitement continues right now for a June 26, 2022 second half. Are you ready for those big four stimulus checks in every U.S. state? I bet you are. Did you become a member during the commercial break? If you didn't, do it right now. Go right on this video and become a member where it says join the channel. Click the button. Become a Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Then get that incredible newsletter. Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. The only one of its kind in America that features all the incredible money all the incredible stimulus, the latest details on this economy, and of course now the free worksheets for members across the board. And with that, let's go over those incredible four stimulus checks in every U.S. state, and let's hit them starting right now. First, let's understand what they are and how they landed there. Back in the month of March, viewers at this channel said, LA, can you find me some four stimulus checks? And I did. I had a quadruple mandate for myself. One, that I get big value of checks. Two, big eligibility for checks, broad eligibility. Number three, make it easy. And number four, encourage people to get lots of them on a regular basis. Let's see what I got you for. The first mandate fulfilled. I want to ensure that the checks were big values because we have these phases as economy between now and September, then we have January of next year. So I need to ensure that the checks are big. How big? Over $100,000 an individual. You can see these checks in one second. Then the eligibility needed to be broad. Did I achieve that? I did. Single individual, $75,000 less, go get them. Mary Cup, $150,000 less, go get them. If you rent, if you own, if you have children, if you don't have children. If you're on benefits, SSI, SSDI or not, go get them. Number three, I want to make it easy. How much easier could I make it? 
all in a simple newsletter. As one viewer, Carol says, Ellie, you make it so simple. All that people have to do is just use their finger, push, and, and apply, and they're done. You make it so simple. You do all the work. You do all the research. And you put it together in a simple form so people can just apply. You just do all, all the setup for them. Thank you, Carol, for those nice comments. And finally, to encourage viewers to keep on getting checks. Later in this video, you're going to meet Nisi, Lorraine, Johnny, and Margaret that keep on getting checks day in, day out. That's what you want to do as well. You ready for the first check? I bet you are. I labor the checks with a lettering system in a sequential order. And the first check, of course, is the start of the alphabet, check A. Check A is a wonderful $6,500 to $12,000 for stimulus check in every U.S. state. Let's look at that check starting right now. This incredible check is huge. $6,500 to $12,000, check A, there it is. For a stimulus check in every U.S. state, single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Married couple, $150,000 or less, go get it. If you are on benefits, go get it. If you're not, go get it. <laughs> children not with children, go get it. You qualify. How do you get this wonderful check? Step one, become a member right on this video where it says join the channel. Step two, subscribe to this channel. And then step three, go down in the membership newsletter to you find check A. In the membership newsletter, it's going to have a link that sends you where to apply for check A. Yes, I do it so simply for you. Down that membership newsletter, you find check A. Tells you a little bit more about it. You click the link. You go into the nationwide website. You choose your state. And you pounce. It's called the Homeowners Weatherizing Grant Check. You're not going to stop there yet. You're going to go get check B. Check B is a wonderful $15,000 to $80,000 for someone's check in every U.S. state. Single individual, $75,000 or less, go get it. Individuals that are married, $150,000 or less, go get it. If you are on benefits, go get it. And this is an enormous amount of money. Viewers, this channel are tracking about $66,000 to $80,000. It's the homeowner's grant check. And how do you find this wonderful check? You go into the membership newsletter. And you go down and apply. So step one, become a member if you're not under this video. Join the channel right now. Join the channel as you see all those people in the live chat that have an emoji of a purple hawk behind their name. They are members. Thousands of members, hundreds newly every moment. Become a member as well. Then get that newsletter Monday through Friday. Go down to check B. Go right down to check B in the newsletter. And then click the link. It'll send you into the nationwide website. You choose your state and you pound. So you're not going to stop there yet. You're going to go get check C. This one perhaps may be one of the most important checks this winter. Why? It's utilities. It is also rent. Yes, my renters. Rent, utilities, mortgage assistance, and more. Folks, we already went over it. There is no more homeowners mortgage forbearance. There's no eviction moratorium. And the utilities bills can be turned off. Utility service can be turned off. So that is why you need check C. Check C has been the success of this channel that has gotten viewers over $50 million. A lot of this money has been Check C. That is originally was purple on this channel. I've been getting people this money since December 2020 on this channel. Imagine how long that's been. Then it became third stimulus, and now it's called purple. Here are the success stories of the time. Do you want $30,000 for rent? Go get Check C. Do you want $15,000 for utilities like Mark's brother-in-law or $7,000 like Nancy? Go get Check C. Do you want SNAP, $25,000 a year over 10 years like Mark's brother-in-law? That's a quarter million dollars. How about combinations? Here we go. This is my other mandate. To ensure that you understand you have to keep on getting checks on a regular basis. Nisi, Mark, Lorraine, Johnny are among them. Nisi went from $23,000 to keep on getting checks, whether it's $500 or $5,000 on a regular basis. Now she's at $50,000. Mark is at $32,000. Now, Mark is at $166,000. He went from that $32,050 to $100,000. They got check B at $66,000. Lorraine, she was at $105,000. Now she's at $130,000. Then she grew to $150,000. She got another $500 just days ago. Lorraine inspired what we went over early in this recording, the LA worksheets. She inspired it because I've been saying for months this channel, Bring a pen and paper and take notes when you watch the video. You need to know where this economy is, where it's going, and how and where your money is. So Lorraine said she had a binder, and the binder's full in just a few months. So that's why I created the worksheets. Let's turn to the worksheet now, the, inspired by Lorraine, page two, that is for stimulus. For example, what you could do for for stimulus's page right there is you would put in 
all your history. I applied for check B on uh, on June 23rd. So you see at, at, at the page for four stimulus, which is page four, you go down in there and actually page three, you go down in there and you see check A, you see check B, check C. You would put in the history of what you've done. So you keep track, especially for check C. There are so many check C's. You can get all your different utilities bills, pay from different agencies as well. And what I want you to know is when you applied or when you got paid, how much you got paid, and especially who you spoke to, because that relationship is so important. It's all in a beautiful table. It's all featured for only members. It's the LA worksheets. It's all in the membership newsletter. In fact, it's the very few first few lines of the LA worksheet of the LA newsletter, Monday through Friday, 7 p.m. Pacific Center. Have you become a member? This is a channel that cares of, as you can see, no one else cares more than I do. Cares to ensure that you get financial independence, that you get financial information, you get financial freedom. Let's differentiate you with everyone else because guess what? It's going to be happening in less than 90 days. You need to learn to earn and people who learn to earn will survive inflation going higher, will survive unemployment surging, and will survive, yes, that financial cliff, potentially, because that financial cliff is just days away. Let's look at that graphic. People who are just not doing anything for themselves are not going to be a good circumstance by September. That's not going to be you. So make a triple promise to yourself. One, know on a daily basis where this economy is by watching all the shows on Allied on a regular basis. You need to know where this economy is today with the subject matters we went over and making notes on your worksheet. Know where inflation is, recession, and labor at issue, and also understand generally where housing, retail sales, and the stock market is. Number two, understand where the economy is going based upon what you learned that day. So for example, let's see if you saw labor get worse or inflationary numbers get worse, then you understand what's happening thereafter. And number three, get as much stimulus as you can. Now, here's why a recession is likely. Gasoline is a component of the consumer price index. The Consumer Price Index CPI is released once a month. And that is composed of price of goods and also gasoline. If gasoline goes higher, then the CPI goes higher. If the CPI goes higher, then the Federal Reserve confirms it raises interest rates. Well, this is the narrative. Gas will continue to go higher, the CPI will continue to stay high, and the Federal Reserve will continue to raise rates. Why is gasoline continue to go higher, and what do you need to know about gasoline tonight? and why this is the, perhaps the worst part of the economy. Gasoline is keeping inflation high, which is causing the Federal Reserve to keep interest rates high, which is sending you in a session. And when would this stop? Likely not anytime soon, because the Western allies have understood this has been a problem since last year, and they've done nothing, and I don't see them changing course. Let me explain gasoline and how it works. Gasoline is a very simple concept. When there's less gasoline available internationally, the price goes higher. Is there less gasoline right now? Yes. How much? 3.5 million barrels a day. Why? Because of Putin's invasion of Ukraine and also because OPEC Plus initially reduced production. Okay, gasoline's higher. So gasoline's higher because it's short as gasoline. How do we battle that? How do we solve the situation? We go out and buy gasoline. Where? Only five countries we can buy from. Iran, Iraq. Saudi Arabia, OPEC Plus, Venezuela, and Brazil. If we don't buy the gasoline, gasoline stays high. Here's what's incorrect, what's coming out of the White House's mouth. The White House has run a series of false, false narratives, one more ridiculous than the other. First, gasoline would not come down if you got something changed with the U.S., Oil executives. Why? Because they do not have 3.5 million barrels of gasoline in the ground. If they did exactly what the White House asked them to do, they still do not have 3.5 million barrels of gasoline in the ground for you. So that's not a solution. Number two, releasing the strategic reserves, 1 million barrels of gasoline a day for six months, announced three months ago from the White House. Did it work then? No. Is it going to work in the future? No. Would I tell you it's not going to work day one? Yes, and never has worked. The president continues to say it has worked. It has not worked. That's why the gasoline prices are higher. Finally, tax holiday for gasoline. The president's blaming Putin, saying, I'm going to give you some relief, a little bit of breathing room, the White House says, for the working American. How much? A dollar of breathing room, specifically a dollar eighty. 
I'm not joking. The White House wants to forgive the 18 cents federal tax you pay per gallon for gasoline at the pump. If the average tank of a car has 10 gallons of gasoline in there, 10 times 18 cents is $1.80. The present thing's giving you $1.80 every time you fill up your pump at the, a car at the pump is going to give you a breathing room. Uh, that is just incorrect math. And with that, if gasoline continues to go up, then your other items go up across the board. Expect in the next 90 days the following events to happen. Price of goods go up, recessionary winds to pick up, and mortgage rates as well. Now, amidst all this, we do have good news, and that is your benefits are going to be going up. This is the last page of the worksheet, seven stimulus. And there you can calculate it out with me and you as well. How much would it go up? Well, we'll know for certain in the month of July, August, and September, because that is when we get a key number that determines how much it goes up. But the Social Security Administration's chief actuary, Steve Goss, when looking at the number just a few days ago, said he believes it's 8%. That's a projection based upon the May number of CPI. Do I think that's correct? No, I think he's undervaluing it. I think it's closer to 9%. Let's do the calculations right now. How does this work? It works the following way, that your CPI, your CPI-W determines your COLA. Your current benchmark is COLA for your benefits. And that number, while released later in the year, is determined based upon the CPI-W for the month of July, August, and September. When we see that number, we'll have a definitive answer. But the Social Security Administration's chief actuary, when looking at the May number, or at least a few weeks ago, so it looks like we're going to be about 8% later this year. Do I agree? I think it's undervaluing. I think the CPI-W, because it's composed based upon the gasoline prices, and they've been higher this month than the month before, 35 cents on average, then if it continues to stay higher or track where it is right now, I believe he's a little bit low. So I think it would be closer to 9%. A nonprofit organization believes it's 8.6%. They, the they are the senior fund open that worksheet and go to that last page of the worksheet and you can calculate out the difference for you. How does this work? Uh, let's just flip that the last page of the worksheet. So let's say you, uh, uh, actually, in the next to last page, last page is, um, is student loan debt forgiveness. Fifth stimulus. When you go to the fifth stimulus page, um, on that fifth stimulus page, you're gonna have a little table there. Pull, pull out the table. Write down your current monthly benefits, uh, and, and if you just get one check, this is easier. If you have two checks, you have to do this twice. But let's say let's say your monthly benefits check is five hundred. Let's say it's five hundred. Then possible raise. Then what you want to do is put in the possible raise number. Now there is a, a, a apostrophe on this one newsletter for today. It should say 0.108. So if Goss has it right, that's going to go at eight percent. You would times your number by 108. So let's say you got five hundred dollars of monthly benefits currently right now. If Goss has it right, that means you your benefits will go up times that number times five times 1.08. Five hundred times 1.08. Now. Let's just do different numbers. You would do it times 9% to determine how much more it went up. Let's say it went up 10%. Then that's an easy calculation. 10% up from $500 means an extra $50 per month. Over 12 months, let's do the math really quickly. 12 months times $50. Yeah, that's a nice pot of money. It's a really nice pot of money. Possible future monthly payments is the last column as well. That's how we rock and roll. And that is how I keep you ahead of the ball game. Imagine the difference. Imagine the difference for you and other people. You're going to know where the economy is. And you're going to know where the economy is going. You're going to understand the importance of getting as much money today and getting it right away and keeping track of the money and then learning how to come back and get more money. Educational, yes. Informational, yes. Ahead of the ball game, yes. Waiting till it lands in your bank account and doing much of nothing and just and just eating a beautiful donut? No, <laughs> this is not the passive channel. You need to take this economy by the horns and do what you can get out of this economy as quickly as possible. The Build Back Better Act is never, ever, ever going to send you a check between now and phase two of this downward spiral. It's likely to get passed. In my opinion, I have always had faith in the Build Back Better Act passing, but I need you to have checks before stage two. I need you to have checks before stage two. 
And Bill Bap Interact is not going to get you a check in your hand before September. Why? They go on recession, they go on break in August. So there's no way for them to physically get you a check before September. You need to pile up checks right today. And remember, if I'm correct and a financial cliff is September, then you need to be substantially ahead of the rest of the American consumers before the financial cliff hits. Because remember, if everyone else is going over a financial cliff, then you need to have your money ahead of time. You need to have your money ahead of the financial cliff happening. You can't go coming to this channel saying, I'm over the financial cliff, help me out, LA. It could be potentially too late then if the money dries up. We don't know. We don't want to risk it. You want to get all that incredible money tonight. And so with that, I hope you've had a beautiful weekend. hope you've had a beautiful day. I'll be with you all week long with new shows. And the shows continue on this channel. Evenings L8 every night at 5 o'clock. Evenings Countdown at 6 o'clock. Streams Stimulus at 7. Evenings Extra at 8. Sunset at 9. And then... LA Light Live, the very popular show on this channel, starts at about 5.45 p.m. Pacific Standard Time nightly and runs for over 12 hours. Meantime, stay with this channel. In the next 90 days, a new LA is coming. Yeah, a lot of changes, a lot of exciting details. Welcome to all the wonderful new members. Welcome to all the wonderful subscribers. Do the following right now. First, go to the Funnest Channel, hit that bell. Make sure all your notifications are set to on. Then go into this video, subscribe, and then go into this video and become a member. Purple Hawk, Purple Power, Calcino VIP. Join this channel and get those four simulus checks in every U.S. state. And from my home to your home, God bless. Have a beautiful week, and I'll see you all week long. I'll see you throughout the night. I'll be jumping the live chat with you as well. And stay with Ally for more.